Hi, Ajit here. Welcome to my workshop. I'm going to make a quick video to show you how to install my RecoCut M12 overhead crank modification. So, what you've got here is the standard M12 with no crank. So, no run-ins and no run-ons on a disc are possible. But this simple mod that you are seeing here on your right with these simple tools, just a ring spanner, allen key and a simple screwdriver is all you need to install, install these two simple parts and all of those possible dimensions will be allow, allowed. So, let's start. I'm going to, to make it quick to show you how it works. First thing is, obviously, uh, please ignore the other modifications. We've got an extra suction pipe here, and we've got the dashboard no spring mod. But this is this is a, a subject for another video. Let's focus on the standard M12 with the crankless feed screw. So first things are obvious, I, I believe. We need to get the head down, lose the, the original feed screw. Sometimes tool is necessary to do that. Okay. Slide it out gently, not to damage any of the gears. Okay. Let's put it somewhere in a safe place. And now we need to be gentle to lose these two nuts. Okay. Remember, these are tiny, tiny bearings in here, so we really need to be fragile. I, I suspect these two parts could never be moved from the from the 50s or 60s. So, so just be careful to do it gently. You need to. If you are not a mechanic, maybe it's wise to ask somebody to do it really gently for you. But we need to lose them both, okay? And th these, two, these two had been uh, tempered before, so they do not come, so, so it's not so hard to take it off. Anyway, we've got them loose, okay? Now all you need... Sometimes you may find washers under, sometimes you don't. Anyway, we take both of them out, okay? Bear in mind not to lose this bolt, okay? We need to take this part now, set it simply on, okay, if, if I could ask the camera to, 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 to shut it from this direction, okay? We need to put it on, everything to do really, really gently, and just put these two nuts a little bit for now. Do not tight. Let's do not tighten them. By right now, let's just put them loose. Okay. Okay. First, one and second. So let's have a look from the front once again. The stage we are now is the feed screw is out, and the crank is already on, but it's still loose. Let us keep this. Let's keep it loose for now. Okay. Let's take the new cranked feed screw and put it on oh, one one thing I forgot we need to change the half nut also because apart from doing the crank modification we have made the the pitch a bit tighter so we, so now you are you are able to put 17 minutes for a long playing record to one side that is about 165 lines per inch okay so the next thing we need to change is the half nut. If I could please to set the camera at the back a bit, all we need to change the, the nut is the screwdriver and the half nut may drop. So it's good to protect it here in the gap under it with some cloth, not to damage it, okay? Is the focus in the camera okay? Right. So I'm unscrewing the half nut now. It's a simple task, just please be gentle and do everything slowly. In your case it's easier because you have no dashboard and no counterweight on. Okay. So so we've got the original half nut here and it's going to drop. Please be gentle. Okay? And that's the new one. We need to put, let's put the, the towel under it in case it drops, so we do not damage anything, and we do not scratch the thread. 
any scratches on the fret will cause rumbles on your recording. And now we may gently screw the new half nut in. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's already in and it should play loose a bit, okay? This is how it's all designed to fit nicely into the cranks, in, into the screw, feet screws fret, okay? And the, the, the main step is to put the new crank, the new fit screw on and we do it exactly the same way as we would do with the old one. We may pour some oil on it for first and it's very important. Okay, let's put some oil on the gears and we need, actually we should do that in every single hour of our recordings, but nobody remembers usually. Okay, be careful not to drop the oil onto the record. And now let's just put it smoothly on. And the same as with the crankless overhead, crankless uh, overhead, we need to tighten the 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 uh, bolt, but we double check if there's a, some little play. Okay. Now we may tighten the the fit screw. Okay, not very much. We need to check it, check and adjust it every couple of hours of recording time anyway. So the last thing we need to do is to tighten these two knots we were talking about in the beginning. So make sure if I could place the camera from the from the left. So we need to make sure there's a little play between the gears because you still may move the crank up and down a bit and with and when you have found there is a bit of the play we may tighten them we may tighten the the nuts okay first one the 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 play is still there okay that's good okay so the last thing to do is to double check if the whole system still runs smoothly. We may lift the, lift the head up for safety now and just double check if it all works fine. So it does, okay? Double check if we did put some oil on it. I'm waiting for the for the torque to bolt to it. Okay, and this is all we've got. This is how the crank mo works here. So, this is the, the, that's exactly all we have to do. We've got also the, the alternative uh, wall and flutterless motor over this lathe, so all is ready for recording. See you, thanks.